Today we have printed timetables with the schedules and we have whiteboards that allow us to help control the stations with the, the platforms and allocation. Hello, this is Manchester Control. We then have phone systems to ring up the train controller to assign the trains and get that into the automated system to allow the trains to run around the layout. What I'd like to share, share with you is what the team have been working on. In the previous episode, we talked about the stock sets being held in the database so that we can control where the stock sets are uh, in the layout. We hope to make that a lot more dynamic to move the trains around the layout. So what we've got in front here is a laptop with the train controller and the timetable, and we've got three iPads. The idea here is that each area on the layout will have an iPad and it will control and show the operator the arrivals and departures of the trains due at their station. So let's focus on one station manager and let's have a look at the London station. This iPad is showing what, actually, what stock and schedules are due to arrive at the London station. The station manager has the option to look for what stock they have by selecting a menu option and viewing the stock that is located in the sidings and then has the ability to go back and look at the schedules that are arriving and departing from the station. When it's time for a train to depart, the operator at the station selects the train uh, schedule that he wants to depart, reserves a platform that is free, and then has the ability to use the stock that is located within the station to make up the train. The screen here is showing the different stock sets that we spoke about in previous uh, videos, and it shows the trains and the carriages. What you need to do here is add the trains and carriages together to, to perform the service that you want on that schedule. As you can see, there are a lot of trains and uh, stock items with different settings to say what is the front of the train, what is the back of the train, and how much power is required. So if you set up your train to say which is the, the forward direction of the loco, and you've selected your carriages, you can then go back and inform the train controller that your train is ready to part, depart. Once the train is ready to depart, a message is sent to the train controller to say that it should be loaded into train, the software to automate the train departing from the station when it's ready. To aid the operator of the at the uh, station, they are assigned actions on the right-hand side of the screen to give them cues of what needs to be done to meet the timetable. So either removing the loco from the sidings and assigning the different stock sets appropriate for that schedule. So if we move over to the train controller screen, what we can see now is on the top line is that the London station manager has indicated to him that the train is ready to depart and he now acknowledges uh, that request and he has a view to see what stock sets have been assigned for that schedule. This also gives the train controller the opportunity to take that schedule and put it into the automated software to run the train and these are the warnings and uh, information that he needs to do that. Once that information is set up in the uh, automated software, he comes back to the train controller and gives the uh, permission for the train to leave. As this is happening, the station manager is being informed of the activities so that they are also aware of when the train will depart. At the moment, you see it in highlighted in yellow, indicating that the train um, is ready to go. So, 
The next action is to confirm if the train has actually departed. This is where the automated system would pick up the train and take it to the next destination. As you can see on the London Station Manager, it's now highlighted that the train has departed. And if we look at the staging yard, which is where the train is off to next, the London to Manchester train which we set up is now in transit and given the station manager the ability to reserve a platform and accept that train. The train has arrived and has arrived at platform three and as it has a second uh, leg to its journey which is to go to Manchester it has automatically been assigned to the Manchester schedule and is now waiting uh, to depart. The, adv the advantage of these uh, station manager screens is that although we have a set timetable it gives each operator the ability to choose what stock set and design their own trains. This means that each operating session can be different as it gives the operator the ability to choose their favourite trains and to do their schedule. So it gives variety into a, an automated system.